say yo, Jeezy. Jeezy. What's Listen, up? Listen, that cut you did was pretty clean. I ain't even gonna lie. Hey, I know clean. that cut was hard, bro. Okay, hey, bro, okay, that cut okay, was okay. So you don't have, hard. have to do too much. Like, okay, take it down, take it down, take it down. Bro, enough. what are you talking about? I've never deep. done nothing Chill like out. that. Chill out, relax. Okay, relax. Bro, you all, I, I don't need you yelling at me. You always I get it. Like, you ain't never done it before. Voice. I, I ain't even it. never I done it. that. I get it. But relax, it's not that Come deep. On. Take it down. It is that deep, man. I feel like I won an Academy Award now, now, with this. Now, now, now you accepting awards now for it? What you talking about, Chill man? Out. I ain't never done that. Chill out. Bro, I don't even you know care what, what you, you talking know what? about, bro. I did Just something start that's the video. never been done. Just start the video. Start the video. I've never done a video like this. I'm just tired of you yelling at me. Well, Alright you guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by basically separating the top from the bottom. I'm going to pin the top up um, to work on the bottom first. My client doesn't really want too much cut off the top, so uh, he's basically going to keep that same look. So the reason why I'm pinning it up, so everything can get out of my way, so it can make it easier for me to take out the bulk on the bottom. Now it's time to remove the bulk from the sides. So I'm gonna use my wall cordless seniors, putting on the three guard with the lever closed, and I'm gonna basically just take off all of the bulk at the bottom. After you do that, I like to make sure everything is neatly brushed down. So I'm gonna do that before I move on to the next step. So next, I'm gonna use my Babylon Skeleton FX trimmers, basically to set in my bald line. Now I'm gonna do it in a rainbow-like shape. Um, I'm not gonna curve it too much, uh, just enough to get that, you know, uh, C kind of feel to it. Um, I want to make my blends unique so I don't just do what typical barbers do and set it in straight. Um, I like to put a bend to it to, you know, like I said, create some uniqueness to your blend. So right now I got my lever open and I'm going up a half inch. The only difference is, is that I'm not going up the full half inch on that vertical bar. Um, I might go half of that half inch, but um, I do that so I can keep that area dark as possible. So I do the same thing with the one guard with the lever open. I go up about a half inch, but I don't go up that full half inch near the vertical bar. And I'm basically keeping it consistent, going over the guideline multiple times, making sure that I brush down as I go. Now putting on the two guard, I'm basically just going pretty much all the way up, um, making sure that I not necessarily scoop out, but just run the clipper, uh, you know, off of his uh, 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 head. So you don't want to sit there and dig in is basically what I'm saying. So everything else down here, now that you got your guidelines set in, 
Everything else is the flick out motion coming blending down basically so i got my one guard open and i'm basically flick flicking out that area between the one and the two now putting on the zero guard with the lever closed in a flick out motion Flick out that middle line. Keep in mind that I'm using my corners the entire time I'm flicking out. Um, using that motion of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, you gotta develop a rhythm. Um, you know, and don't use the full blade uh, when you're when you're fading or or you know doing the flick out motion because that's gonna take off too much in areas where you don't want to. So use the corners. Take your time. So now with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Notice how that I'm using my corners the entire time and I'm adjusting my lever if I go up higher. So now it's time to do some detail work. This is probably the most important part of doing your blends. Um, what I like to do is I like to take a look away from the blends or use my mirror, phones, whatever I can do to get a different perspective on the blend, do it, okay? Cause it's gonna make that cut that much more different. What I like to do is I like to use my corners, go in areas where I, you know, use my guards. That's why it's good to memorize your steps because you will know uh, which areas where you set your guidelines and what guards you need to take out uh, those areas where you see bulk. So memorize, I mean, <laughs> rememorize, memorize your guidelines and um, yeah, the process will be way more faster. Where you get your beat? Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the duck clips. I'm gonna saturate my client's hair with water because what I wanna do is basically blow dry and pick it out um, and kinda disrupt these curls. I don't want the curls anymore. I'm gonna make new curls basically. Next, I'm gonna use my shears and basically shape the fro, um, starting from top to bottom. Um, make sure you get you some 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 shears that have a bend to them. Uh, I think these are like dog grooming shears. Um, but yeah, man, just uh, I'm just taking off a little bit, not too much, just trying to shape it so I could curl it. So next, I'm going to section off my client's hair because um, I'm going to start curling his hair a little bit at a time. So I'm going to grab a little bit, section it off, put my duck clips in. So how I'm going to start curling it, I'm going to take a little section at a time. All right. I got my Johnny B mold. 
This is a product that I use to curl hair in general. To me, it's the best curling product out right now. So I'm just gonna twirl the hair around my fingers and just get it to, you know, ravel up real tight. And then I'm gonna just, you know, lay it there. Now, what, what will happen is that the hair will start to curl on its own, especially when you blow dry it. So just, I'm gonna just do this process around the entire head and then it'll look like this. So after you're done, this is what it will look like. Um, kind of gives it that dread look, but it's definitely uh, more defined curls. So next I'm gonna blow dry and just, you know, work on the lineup next. So before I work on the lineup, I like to use my one guard uh, with the lever closed um, and basically take it off, uh, take off the front edge. That way your lineup will be way more crispy. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a the full 360. Come out looking like. Damn, son, we make it look easy. YouTube, this is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother. He does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, Links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360GZ and my Instagram is 360GZ. But it's your boy 360GZ and I'm out of here.